Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am doing a DIY makeover on my staircase. So I have been wanting to do this for quite some time and I don't really know what gave me, you know, the encouragement to do it. But if I knew how long and how tedious this job was, I probably wouldn't have started. It's going to be an amazing video. It took me quite some time. So make sure you stick around right to the end because you're not gonna wanna miss out. So I am starting here by priming. As you can see, I already did the one side on the left and now I'm doing the right side here going up the stairs. I did tape it off and I am using a paint called Kills Paint. That's the company and it is an oil-based paint and I'm using the oil-based paint because I was told at Home Depot when I went that if I used the oil-based paint, it would eliminate the sanding process. And when I heard that, I thought, great, because I could not imagine painting, or sorry, sanding these spindles and these railings, Ugh, it would just drive me nuts. I'm going to be starting painting the spindles now. I wanted to make sure before I did any finalized painting in my target colors that I wanted to have all the priming done. This can get very exciting and I wanted to get ahead of myself and start painting that white color along the trim there before I did the spindles, but I have to remember that this is going to be a process and I need to do it the proper way, so I am starting by priming all of these spindles. I learned very quickly that I need to do it in every other spindle pattern simply because I was hitting the wet spindle with my hand, getting paints on my hands. So it just seemed like a better trick for me to start off by painting every other spindle. So you're gonna see me here go all the way up, painting every other as I go, going back and doing the other every others that were in between the wet ones that have then dried. After my spindles were all done painting, I took the time and I taped out all underneath the railing because now it was time for the exciting part. I was able to start painting the railing black. So I taped off the bottoms here, you can see with the tape, so it would be easier for me to go around with the black. Black is such a messy color, so you wanna make sure that you have everything kind of taped off and clean so that you can keep your area nice and tidy. So my goal here guys is to make this railing black as well as two spindles. I want the two big spindles on the railing to be black and then all the small ones are going to be white. This is getting so exciting guys. As I was painting this, I was just, I was so excited. I can see the change happening before my eyes and I was pumped. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> So once I had a good coat all over this railing, I let it sit overnight and I was able to start fresh in the morning on my edges with that clean white paint. Oh my God, guys, look how good it looks. As I was doing this, I was getting so excited because I could see the progress happening, but I soon realized as it started drying that I had to do more coats. So these edges actually took four coats of white paint. Again, I'm going to be linking in the description below which paint I was using and the brushes that I was using, just so you guys know exactly what I did. All right guys, so I haven't recorded painting the spindles because they are taking forever. As you can see, I still have a lot of ones that are primed. All these ones down here have been painted and touched up as I go. These ones are still primed. I just did a coat on this one and this one. And this one's still working in my every other pattern. Noticing on the dry ones, little yellow specks as I go through this, just how it's drying because the wood was so yellow, I'm assuming. Uh, so yeah, this is where I'm at. <sighs> I'm almost done. 
So this is where having a little paintbrush from the dollar store is key. As you can see, I'm able to get right down, right, right down to the very tip of the carpet, as well as right up to the very tip of the railing without having to tape. I could not imagine how difficult and frustrating it would have been to tape off every single one of these spindles. So what I did is I just went with the little tiny brush all into like, you know, the hard to get at places where I didn't want dripping. And then with my big brush, I wouldn't even say a big brush, my inch brush in everywhere else. The key to this guys is to make sure that you go every over everything a couple times and to use a little paint as possible. I had to do a couple coats on the spindles, I think like two coats on the spindles. And then I just spot painted as I went on and saw little like things here and there, but this is key. So if you're going to do this project, make sure you go and get a couple little tiny brushes. The excitement I felt in my body while finishing these last couple spindles was something I will never be able to explain. The time it took to paint these spindles was ridiculous. I'm talking four spindles every two, three hours. It is the longest, tedious project I have ever done. So this is after everything was done being painted. I went back with my black paint and just touched up the railing one more time, you know, any white splatters that had happened from me painting the spindles. And oh, this was so satisfying to do because I knew once this was done, it was finished. After a very long month and countless hours of painting, I'm finally finished! Look at this thing, it looks amazing. I cannot believe it. I'm so impressed with myself. There are such clean lines, there's no dripping. It just looks so great. Be sure to check out the description below for a list of the products and the places that I got it because this is a project that you definitely wanna take some time and some research and I feel like I did a pretty good job. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.